Hey there YouTubers, this is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is fun. Thanks for tuning in. Today we have a problem, uh, we have a gentleman from New Zealand and he has a, he basically, he, he's he got a working macro whenever he changes something um, over on his uh, mobile numbers page it will format the phone number a certain way. So if you do 02 and nine uh five 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 six four three two it'll format it like this and if you do oh two five 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 uh one two three four uh let's see one two three four five excuse me then it'll format it like this so but whenever he does a regular phone number he's figured out how to do that too so he can he can do it like this, let's say 09 uh, 111 2222 and then 09 333 see how it'll format that with the word OR so there's two numbers, he also has it to format it with, there's an extension so if you do 09 111 2222 extension 333 it'll do this number right here so it'll automatically type in the word EXT and put all the brackets and everything. He's got that figured out. He's got a great macro written. He's got a great macro written for the mobile numbers, which are nine or ten digits, oddly enough, in New Zealand. Nine or ten digit mobile numbers, you, you'd never know. But what he wants to do is if um, if he types it in column A, it'll do the phone numbers thing. If he types it in column B, it'll do the mobile numbers thing. And so he's on the right track. We're going to get him all the way there. Right, so I just hit Alt F11 to get into the Visual Basic Editor. What we see here on Sheet 3 is we do have the uh, macro for the regular phone numbers, but he's got an if intersect using the target cell, that's the changed cell, and range A1 through A10,000. So if that is nothing, then exit the sub. So what we want to do is kind of I want to change all these into a, a couple good functions here so what I want to do is add a new module and uh, we're going to name this function instead of a sub you type function and we're going to call this one pnum for phone numbers and in your brackets let's just do um, number or num or something like that as a variant we we'll declare that and let's make our other one function mobile number so mnum and we'll do the same thing the number as a variant so that way we're prepared for anything so we're going to make these uh, let's go ahead and copy all of this stuff here let's just cut and paste control x and we'll paste all that into the regular phone number function we can edit that in just a moment Oh, there's some extra stuff here. We'll get rid of that. So all that's looking just fine and dandy. Um, go back to sheet three. Uh, let's go to sheet two. I think that has our mobile numbers. All right, so let's get our mobile number um, stuff here, and we'll just copy and paste it into the P or the M num for the mobile number function. Now something I want to show you here is um, this if not this if intersect stuff we don't need. And let's go to the other one, the same thing if intersect jargon here. Another thing is whatever well, let's go back to sheet three. I know I'm moving around pretty fast. Let's say uh, so the if not intersect so the, we want the intersection of the target and at first we want the range of a, I think he said A1 through A10,000 and to close up that intersect function is nothing then all that stuff right there says if it's not nothing then it is something right so if this 
is intersecting the target that we've just changed is intersecting with A1 through 10,000 then we want to uh, run phone number function else well we really want to do an else if don't we so let's copy that right there else if not intersect blah 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 b1 through b10,000 is nothing then so if it's with in column b basically then we need to run the mobile macro or function okay and then do your end if to close up the if then statement now that's just a comment so we need to actually use our functions that we have just created we need to probably tweak those a little bit for example there is no target because this is not a event this is a function so this needs to be changed to the word number so control F in the current procedure we're going to replace the word target needs to be replaced with the word number because we named it number in this function so replace all in the current procedure we replaced five just then same thing for this one uh, in this current procedure which I just clicked on click replace all also you notice here it says if the number of cells uh, counted is greater than one then exit the sum well number dot cells doesn't really work um, that's designed for the target the target dot cells and what that means is if the number of selected cells is more than one then close it up because we don't want to do that on more than one so let's cut and paste um, we only need that once at the very top of this worksheet change event so if target.cells.count is greater than one then exit this sub these other ones let's uh, let's erase that part here okay so we see that it starts off with application.enable events equals false um, we could just move that to our worksheet event uh, surrounding the function so application.worksheet uh, or application dot enable events equals false and then we want to say that the target is going to be equal to uh, what was the function called? It's called pnum and when I do the open parentheses you notice our variable that we named number shows up to give us a clue so we want the number to be whatever's in the target uh, or changed cell and then we want to say application dot enable events is true again and enable events what that does is um, as soon as this target has become changed by this that will actually trigger another change event on the worksheet and you don't want that to keep re-triggering itself forever that's an endless loop and it will just cripple your workbook so you want to turn enable events to false then change the current cell to the new formatted way and then turn events uh, back on so that the next change on the worksheet somewhere will trigger something so let's copy and paste that right here and we just need to make that mnum now as if that wasn't rabbit trailish enough let's go back to um, go back to this we need to clean this up because now we've taken events to false on the forefront instead of on the actual deal there also application dot enable events equals true take that off there take that off there and take that off of there another thing that I notice whenever you end a function a happy ending is for the name of the function to be equal to whatever is supposed to be that's how you take that on and change whatever you're changing so pnum is what we need to do at the very end instead of number or target dot value we need to say that pnum equals whatever our final value is and then on this one same deal 
that would be m num is equal to mobile phone number and um, so let's just run this real quick I'm gonna save let's run the phone number event alright so let's do 09444 extension 123 hit enter so so I control is going to be equal to 1 and to the, the length of number so it's going to go through each one and find out if it's numeric or not and if it isn't it's going to ignore it if it is it'll add that to the number so we're we're digging through all the periods and colons and parentheses and just getting the basic numbers so that we can manipulate them in a moment I'm going to hit F5 so now we're going to trim it up make sure it's absolutely just a number and if that is less than nine then it's going to say hey you need to I don't know have less numbers or something or have more numbers but it skipped that stage so it's going to get the leftmost of the three which is 094 and put it in brackets then it'll get the next uh, three and put them in brackets and then it'll get the final four and put them in brackets or uh, put a hyphen between them so S phone number has been formatted and uh, let's take a look S phone number is now formatted with the extension and that's going to go to our function name P num so hit F8 end function enable events is true now and butter bang so you see there it formatted it for us that's pretty cool now what if we screwed up so I'm gonna save what if I put 09 one two three four and I was like deliberately left off several digits then let's go to the next stop marker hit F5 and it's going to say the value blah 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 appears to be wrong and it's going to say go to finish and end function so that's not a happy ending um, it actually erased the function so here's how we need to address that whenever we get to let's hit a five whenever we get to here and it says the message box message here what we need to do is we need to say that um, pnum which is the name of our function is equal to the original number value and then exit uh, not exit sub but exit function because we're in a function right now so p number equals the number that uh, we originated from now it is going to be blank because I it just erased it but that's what we need to do for both of these if there is any kind of error it will at least uh, it will at least leave the original information in there for us so this one would be mobile number so mnum equals number and then exit the function so it doesn't override it right here with a bunch of empty variables so let's uh, let's save the workbook let's try that again 0912342 deliberately too few okay so blah 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 pnum equals number so it shoves it back in this cell and exits the function so that's a safe way to do it now then we'll try a few more digits hit F8 there we go there's our extension cool alright so um, now let's make sure that it works over here as well let me save mobile number 09 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so there's a four digit one at the end how about 09 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 that's a nine digit phone number right um, so it does it just fine too so yeah that's how you do it um, you can uh, do the if not intersect um, whoops, right here. If not intersect blah 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 is nothing, then blah. Else if not intersect blah 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 with the new target is nothing, then. And you can go on down the line. You can have a custom range for all kinds of different things uh, within one worksheet change event 
just do else if and have another uh, thing on there so thanks for watching I hope that helped you I hope someday I'll get to <laughs> go to New Zealand check that out I uh, hear your country is beautiful so I know that the Lord of the Rings was filmed there it was gorgeous scenery and that what else uh, Dolph DeRuz which is one of my favorite authors in the world on real estate uh, author of real estate riches wealth magnet a bunch of other good things he's from New Zealand um, Christchurch I think he said um, anyway he owns a bunch of real estate like everywhere in the world but uh, certainly some in New Zealand so yeah thanks for watching everybody God bless Oh, this workbook will be available for download. Just click on the link in the Dropbox description on the uh, or the video description, and you can download this workbook. It is going to be called Format Phone Numbers. Thanks for watching. God bless.